Now in the last part, part E, we've got to work out the probability the, that the random variable x is greater than or equal to the random variable y. And to do this, what we need to do is just substitute y into this inequality. y, remember, was given as 6 minus 2x. Now what I need to do is just add 2x to both sides of the inequality, so I end up with the probability that x plus 2x, which in other words is 3x, is greater than or equal to 6. And I can now divide both sides by 3, and this is the same as the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2, 6 divided by 3 being the 2. And what is the probability of x being greater than or equal to 2? Well, clearly it's the probability that x equals 2 plus the probability that x equals 3. In other words, a plus one-fifth. And we found out earlier in the first part that a was a quarter. So we've got one quarter plus one-fifth. And a quarter plus a fifth, well that makes a total of nine twentieths. Okay?